So uh, the story is Tobias Elwood, he's a senior uh, Tory MP, as you said. He's actually the chairman of the Defence Committee. Uh, he's been a very, very outspoken, uh, unashamed, as it were, uh, critic of Boris Johnson and Boris Johnson's government. So this isn't necessarily the, you know, the biggest surprise in the world that he uh, did not come back from his trip abroad to vote in that confidence vote yesterday. Uh, and we've got this statement from the Whip's office, which says Tobias Elwood MP has lost the concern Conservative Party whip following his failure to vote in support of the government in the confidence vote last night. That it's important to say it was a vote uh, in confidence of the government, not in Boris Johnson, uh, and therefore. Uh, other Tory MPs uh, voted uh, that they had confidence in the government, essentially in the meantime, until we have a new uh, Prime Minister replacing Boris Johnson in September. Now, this is really serious stuff. Uh, it might be seen as potential punishment or a potential kind of penalty uh, for Tobias Elwood's uh, lack of loyalty to Boris Johnson, lack of loyalty to uh, the government. He's been so outspoken about all of the scandals and all of the problems uh, under Boris Johnson's premiership. <clears throat> so it's not necessarily the most... Um, surprising thing in the world, but considering he is such a, a, a senior MP to have the whip withdrawn like this. It also means he can now not vote in today's leadership ballot, uh, which obviously every vote counts when it comes to these candidates and their campaigns. So whoever was potentially banking on Tobias Elwood's vote is going to be disappointed that that's one less vote. And you, you, depending on how it gets uh, after today and how tight it goes, that could be a very valuable vote. So potentially disappointment uh, for some people there. Now, we don't know what this means long term, depending on who becomes the Prime Minister in September, perhaps Tobias uh, may get the whip reinstated. It all depends on who's the next Prime Minister as well. But uh, obviously we know Tobias Elwood was abroad for that vote and was told to come back to vote and he did not come back. And this is exactly why the whip has been removed.